Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, pardon the mess and pardon the lack of real reviews um, recently, and that is just because, well, I'm putting what I normally would spend on my collection into setting up the room, so like paying for the shelving and stuff like that, so I really don't have like a whole lot to review right now, unfortunately, but luckily I did get a video request, which is uh, today's video from my friend Bill, um, and it was actually, he requested top 20, I think, top 20, Black Series figures of 2020. That was something that I tried to do, um, did not do, as you can tell by the, the title of this video. Unfortunately, I looked back, I didn't even get 20 Black Series figures in 2020, which is kind of bad, I don't know, is that? I was building a house, so I just didn't, I mean, I've become more picky with Black Series figures, I mean, more than ever now. Um, and so I definitely didn't, I think I got maybe like 15, um, counting back. And so I didn't get enough for that video. Um, and so I figured that I would just do a top 10 collectibles of 2020. That That's what I'm calling it. And so this is 10 items that I really, really liked getting in 2020. Um, I left it at 10 because I think that 20, the list gets really big and they just, it's a little bit hard to place for me. So I hope you enjoy it nonetheless, but it is based off of this video request. I'm sorry I couldn't do, you know, the 20 action figures. That's been the trend. But uh, before we leave January, which is like, you know, the new year month, um, I figured I put this out. Obviously it's a little bit late because we're in the end of January 20. 21 now. Um, but yep, so I figured that I would rank them. And so it's a little bit of everything. Got some Black Series figures. I have a some Funko Pops and then a couple other um, random bits and bobs. But I hope you enjoy. Um, this is basically the top 10 items that I really, really, really liked in 2020. Coming in at number 10, I have the Darth Revan Funko Pop. Um, and even though he's number 10, I still really like this Funko Pop. This was probably my proudest Funko Pop of 2020. Um, at the time when he initially came out, he was just sold out everywhere, and I managed to find him way up north um, in town. I was covering a different store for the day, and so I had like checked the local game stops and found Darth Revan. But anything Darth Revan, I really, really like. So this was an absolute win for me. I was really excited that they made this Funko Pop. I think it's got great detail. I've obviously reviewed it. I've reviewed just about everything on this list, I think. Um, but yep, he is number 10. I was so excited to find him. It was such a satisfying moment to track him down. Um, definitely the old school, you know, collector hunting feel. Um, so that is my number 10. Number nine coming in on a Black Series figure is yet again Darth Revan. This is actually Jedi Knight Revan. He came out this year or last year, I believe. And again, I was really excited to get him. Um, one that I can't remember if I pre... I think I did pre-order him. He's part of the Gaming Greats line. And I just like about crapped my pants when <laughs> this one got announced. Because I have the Darth Revan. And I think that the Jedi Knight Revan looks so good. I love the colors. And side note for any High Republic readers. I definitely feel like he's wearing High Republic coloring. So let me know what you think. He's obviously an Old Republic character. But... Um, I thought that was cool nonetheless. So there is Darth Revan in number nine. I, again, was really, really happy to get him, and his inbox version is so, so pretty. The box is beautiful to me. Coming in at number eight is a Funko Pop. We're kind of bouncing back and forth, but this is the... There's hair on it. Yay. Um, lovely having pets and stuff, yeah. Um, this is the supersized or the 10-inch Mandalorian Funko Pop that I found. Um... And oh, he's so good, guys. I don't know. I love the chrome really, really works. And you can get the details for the baby Yoda. It's just scaled so much bigger. So you can get such cool details out of him. And he just is quite a stunning piece for the Funko Pop collection. So he was really, really another Funko Pop highlight for the year. I really, really was super happy to find him. He's not super uncommon or anything, but like he just looks so good. I'm really proud of this. So that's number eight. Number seven, another Funko Pop, another Mandalorian Funko Pop, but it is the pop, I guess, a ride um, that I got from um, Eli for Christmas. So it did count in 2020. It was the very end of 2020. Um, and I just overall really love this Funko Pop. I'm just now seeing how many cat hairs are on it. They must have gotten up on the display stand where I have them. But um, again, another super cool pop. There's so much detail and it's a season two pop. Just really, really cool. Um, again, I just love it for the detail, and then I love the tiny little baby Yoda hanging out of the bag. So, another really stunning pop. Um, definitely some really cool ones this year. And I really like that even though there was, like, the coronavirus this year, obviously, or last year, obviously, 
um, that Funko still was churning out their Funko Pops. So was Black Series, honestly, with Hasbro. So they did good kind of like keeping you busy as a collector. Starting in at number six, I have Commander Bly, the Black Series figure. I just think he looks so cool. It was another one of those really awesome finds. Um, everybody was finding him in my area and I really, really wanted him. Like I love getting the clone troopers. They're just fantastic. And um, I remember like my husband actually found him for me over lunch um, at work one day and he surprised me with him, but like he found him at Walmart, which was crazy. I'd never seen Commander Bly, never have seen him in person. My husband found him. He said it was at Walmart. I've never seen a Commander Bly at Walmart, but I'm really, really pleased with this figure despite this one that has the air in the helmet with the stripe, but I don't mind. I don't pay close enough attention for that kind of thing. Uh, to be honest, but I just think this is a stunning figure. Commander Bly is a fantastic clone trooper, um, and he made a great six-inch figure, so he's number six. Okay, and coming in at number five, right on the heels of Commander Bly, I also have Count Dooku, another figure that I was really, really looking for. Again, my husband found, and just another one of those awesome collector's moments where, you know, the figure is so good, and you really, really want it. You didn't pre-order it, so you're just hoping you can find it in the wild, and I think that this Count Dooku looks fantastic. Um, we needed some more uh, episode two um, representation in the Black Series, so this is a really, really good figure. I'm super pleased with it. I think that the details are very simplistic and look very nice, and I think they nailed it. Um, so again, really excited to have found this Black Series figure this year. I think he was one of the best that they did. And then coming in at number four was Zeb from the Black Series from Rebels. And this is my all-time favorite Black Series figure that came out in 2020. Um, again, not a super uncommon one. Uh, I saw him a couple of times at GameStop, but I actually pre-ordered this one at Big Bad Toy Store. And <clears throat> again, his, his, his height and his width are just so awesome. Like he's just very like large and I really like that. I just felt like I was getting my money's worth. Um, and the painting on him is so good. I was just, I have been waiting to finish the Ghost Crew, like, since the very first Rebels figure came out for the Black Series, and Zeb was the last one that I needed, and so it was just so awesome, the feeling to be able to complete it, and then with such a stunning figure, um, I just really, really, <clears throat> I don't know, I really like him, I love the colors on him, I love his staff. He's got a lot of articulation. He's not a human. He's really big. Just all those factors together made him my very favorite Black Series figure for 2020. I think he is stunning, and I am happy to have him. Uh, he is number four. Coming in at number three, it is this fantastic 501st Legion Arc Trooper 3-pack that I got from Hasbro Pulse. Closer to the end of 2020, I do believe. Um, I was really, really excited when they announced these guys. Obviously, some Clone Wars favorites. And I love the, the shiny holographic packaging. It looks very pretty. I was really, really excited for this uh, set. I just, I was really happy that I was able to get it because it did sell out on Hasbro Pulse and I just really like it. I mean, I definitely wish I could have another one to open and review the figures and like display them, but I definitely am okay keeping them in the package. And they're just very stunning, a very proud find for a three and three quarter inch collector such as myself. Always my favorite figure line it will be. And so this was definitely the highlight out of that scale for sure. So that is number three. And then coming in at number two, this is a Lego set and I just really, really like it. I got this for Valentine's Day of 2020. It's funny because we're almost in Valentine's Day again. Um, but it is the Millennium Falcon. This is based off of the Rise of Resistance. Rise of Resistance? No, uh, the Rise of Skywalker. Definitely not Rise of Resistance. I just... I got it and I was really surprised. I wasn't expecting it. This is my first ever Millennium Falcon and just over the year, I just continued to love this set and just be really pleased with it. And I just like look at it all the time and it was a really fun build and it's really big. And so, I mean, I just definitely one of my favorite Lego sets ever. Um, I just really like it just as the year went on. I just like never got bored with it to be honest. And so he's number two. Again, I just think it's stunning. I love Lego and I think that this is an awesome ship. Um, and it was a fun surprise as well, so. Okay, and so for my number one collectible of 2020, we're gonna throw it all the way back to January of 2020 when I went to Disney World, and it is the Savi's Workshop lightsaber, my custom-built lightsaber from Galaxy's Edge, and this one just, it had to be my number one, truly, because it was just such an amazing experience. It was my own custom lightsaber. We were at Disney World. It was my husband's first time at Disney World. I was with my friend Jared. Um, he built a lightsaber at the same time. So it was just a really fun experience, very memorable. And like, this is, I mean, I love my lightsaber. So I'm really, really pleased with it, even still. Um, throughout the year, this was definitely the highlight collectible 
of 2020 for me. I'm just really stoked with it and I still love it very much. Um, and I just, I could not be happier with the, the items that I chose to make it. I'm just really pleased with it. And again, High Republic readers, this is kind of like a peace and justice kind of-esque lightsaber. I didn't obviously do that on purpose. I didn't know back then, but, um, it worked out. But anyways, I just, I love this lightsaber. It was such a fantastic experience. It was just my top collectible for 2020. So, um, let me know if you guessed this right, uh, based on the title. Well, you've seen the thumbnail, but you might not know which one was. If you guess this is number one, then give me a thumbs up. Um, anyways, guys, that was my top 10 collectibles for 2020. Again, I'm sorry I didn't do a Black Series version. I just didn't have near enough Black Series. Um, and then just ranking the 15 that I had just seemed kind of, it seemed kind of tedious because I had some really standout ones and then some ones that I got that I was like, oh, awesome, you know, what can I add to the collection? So I just, I didn't really want to do a video on that. Um, but I hope that you liked this nonetheless. And again, you know, uh, thanks for sticking with me as I kind of do these non-Star Wars reviews videos. I hope that you are enjoying them. It is a little bit different from the normal content that I have, but that's all I have right now. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.